My name is Christoph. I've been working at FSI since 2005, first as an intern, then as fund technician, taking good care of all your favorite funds. I'm Inka Strothmann and I work for FSI since 10 years by now and I work as a fund technician. My name is Jens and I've been working here at Fundshop International since 2007. I work in the type department as a fund technician. I am Andreas. I am the head of type department here and uh, I'm, I've been working for FSI since four, ten years. For ten years, yes. Fundship International was founded in 1990 by uh, Eric Spiekermann and Neville Brody as one of the first digital fund foundries and um, it was meant by designers for designers and is the <laughs> largest collection of uh, contemporary original typefaces um, with typefaces you might know like uh, FF Dean, FF Meta or FF Dux. Everybody can submit a typeface to the type board and after the type board has decided to accept the typeface we're gonna start to work on the fonts. We start to look at the design, um, discuss the design with the designer to make perhaps changes, optimizing the concept of the family so we can get the best out of the design and work with the designer until we both are happy with it. And after that, the mainly technical mastering process starts. We are able to uh, solve technical problems with the font font designer. We can discuss the aesthetic problems and so we uh, basically we develop a brilliant typeface idea to a high quality font. You, here you can see an example of a sub in the typeface. It was accepted by the typeboard to be a part of the front front library. And we found some little issues in the design and discussed it with the designer. And um, you can see the horizontal stems are a bit too thin and the stroke ending is not so nice. And therefore we changed it together with the designer. And uh, if I switch to the final form, you can see the horizontal stems are a bit thicker and match more the design of the other shapes and the stroke ending is a bit nicer and you can see we got a much nicer form in the end. This is a typeface I'm currently working on and this is almost done actually. And um, as you can see it has a pretty big character set and once you want to have a wide language support um, the basic character set won't be sufficient so you'll need a huge amount of accented letters and maybe apart from that even Cyrillic and Greek glyphs inside. Here's another font of our library that um, <coughs> contains apart from the huge language support um, many nice open type layout features as the swash feature where I can turn on swash capitals when you look at the W, B or T here or nice ligatures when you look at the FFL and even more discretionary ligatures here the ST and almost all of our fonts contain different sets of numerals here you can see the old style figures with this descending and ascending designs and I can turn lining figures on and of course real fractions. And all these things um, are incorporated in the fonts and I have to test them in many different environments to make sure that everything's working fine. As one of the last steps in the font production process we do hinting for all our fonts which means optimizing them for high quality screen display. And that's necessary because most typefaces were designed for print applications and so extra work is necessary to make them look good on screen. Here you see the letter A from the typeface F15 round and basically what I'm doing here is defining the stems so they all have the same width on screen, which is important for legibility in applications where the font is used on screen as office fonts or the new web fonts for example. Um, here at FSI we have our own 
production system for our fonts. It's made in-house, so it's especially for our font forts for our own needs. This is the material we get from the designer, and then we put there all the information into the database we need, which we need for the final font files. Um, there you have got uh, copyright strings, or you have uh, global things, values for the metric files, or you have global hinting settings and uh, local settings for special things. And here we can choose it all, we can edit it, and we can also select which kind of font we would like to have from this source. You can see here in the, the metric editor all the ascender and descender entries we can put in. And we put it in for global, for the whole font family. We do this all for our designers, they don't have to care about this. And at the end we have the all entries here. So all the family name, full name, uh, older ones need char 8 name or the, the open type name strings. It's all done here in this database and we just generate from the VFB file uh, together with the database, the fonts. Uh, although talking about the bothersome sides of type design, to me they are pretty interesting and challenging because um, each design has its challenges, each designer has his or her idea and um, collaborating, giving support, making suggestions and coming to a result that makes both sides happy, that's the fun to me. What I really like about my work with fonts is to get the idea of the design, of the variety of all the fonts we have, to, to improve it, to make it better, to get the really last rest of it to make it the best. What I like about this job is the combination of design and technical stuff. I've always been interested in both and in type and programming and stuff and so it's a perfect combination for me. I just love to work with types and be a part of the development of different typefaces. That's all. 